Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking very quickly at how to save a PNG out of Adobe Photoshop that has a specified resolution, so 300 dpi or something. 72 is easy, that's what Photoshop defaults to, but anything else is a little tricky. So I have a couple of images open here, they're all the same, they're just a 1000 by 1000 pixel image that I have created and saved. Now one of the things that people say is that if you use Save for Web Legacy, so you go to File and then Export and you Save for Web Legacy, well there used to be a suggestion that if you included all the metadata in the image that you would be able to save it as 300 dpi if that was the resolution of the document. It doesn't work anymore, so forget the Save for Web Legacy options because they just don't work. But you can save and retain your document resolution by saving it as a PNG using another method. So first of all you want to make sure that you actually are using the correct image resolution. So I'm going to image image size. I have here a 1000 by 1000 pixel document. Its resolution is 300. If I wanted to change it I could do so but that's what I'm working with in terms of this document. So how am I going to save it? Well you can go to File, Save. If you've only got one layer in your document you should be okay to save it, but if you've got multiple layers that's not going to be an option. You can use Save a Copy. In this case then you can select PNG as the option and you can go ahead and save your file. But if you're familiar with using Photoshop you'll know that you used to be able to use the Save dialog I'm just going to add another layer to my file right now, just temporarily, and let's go and look at my save dialog. So my save dialog has PNG as an option, yours may well not. Now that's just a setting inside Photoshop that you can re-enable the old save dialog. That's going to make life a whole lot easier for you. So what you're going to do is go to Edit Preferences on a PC on a Mac, that's going to be Photoshop and then Preferences, and then you're going to this File Handling tab here. And in the File Handling tab there's an option for Enable Legacy Save As. So if I enable it I'll be able to do all the things I used to be able to do in Photoshop including saving as a PNG file and using that Save dialog will allow me to retain my document resolution. So that's the way to do it. If you don't have this enabled then you won't have PNG as an option on that dialog. It's really frustrating, there's no, I can't think why they changed it but they did so let's just work it out how to put it back where it comes from. So now I can go to File Save and when I do that I get the PNG option in the dialog and that will allow me to save it and your 300 dpi is going to be retained. So I'm just going to call this test dot png, saving it as a png file, let's click save, doesn't matter what of those options I use, let's just close this down and then let's go and reopen it. Here it is and here is the resolution, 1000 by 1000 at 300 pixels per inch. So that's going to be the easiest way to get a 300 or a 150 or a whatever DPI PNG out of Adobe Photoshop, something that's not 72 DPI because that's what Photoshop is going to default to if you use any of those Save for Web options, even if you select all metadata. The most recent versions of Photoshop, it's not working so don't bother using it. Thank you so much to one of my subscribers who posted the question because I had not realised this was an issue. I don't usually save PNG images, so hopefully this is going to help a few people. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.